Hi, I'm Morton Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I'm sitting down to hand out the play ratings from Rovers win over Swansea City. You know how this works 1 to 10 ratings, like the Lancashire Telegraph, like Link 5. Let's just get into it. Remember, tick subscribe for all the content, match reaction, play ratings, previews, podcasts, interviews, you name it, we'll have it on the channel. So, remember, tick subscribe, appreciate the support. So, Rovers Chat, I've laid it out in this formation just because sort of the time I started at right wing back. I know it changed through the game, but I've gone for this one just to uh, make it a bit more visually correct with the way we lined up to start with. So, into pace seven, really impressed by Pers, another clean sheet, dominant in the air, good distribution as well with the main thing that I saw from his game. There were one, he got the ball, clipped it over the winger to uh, Sober Thomas. He was getting the ball out, you know, booting it all along up the pitch and finding Gallagher. Something that, you know, maybe Kaminsky lacks that distribution. So I think it was a really good performance for Pears and another clean sheet, like I say. Up next in my rating, so with Thomas, I've gone for a six. I think the wing-back role didn't suit him too much. It worked for you getting forward, but it was limiting his attacking output because he was having to come back all the time. So I think once he got forward, he was much better. The crosses into box were great. I think when you get Sober Thomas and Dyke, that connection is going to come soon. And I think you'll see Dyke scoring a lot from a Sober Thomas pullback. I like him. I think it suits him going forward and I'd start him Tuesday. Hayden Carter, seven. What a performance again from Hayden Carter. Dominantly good in the air. Accurate with his long passing. Accurate with his short passing. A tackler. Intercepts the ball. Clears it. For me, Rob is best centre-back on the day and I think he's continuing to prove why he should be in this side. And when you've got this back three plus Scott Wharton available, you can see why Rovers' best position at the moment is defence, which is something we haven't said for too many years. Uh, Ayala six. Uh, did well with a ball, tackling. Sometimes he's passing a bit off, but I don't think the passing play suits him. And then he gets a goal at the end. You know, I wanted to put him up just for the goal because he was the only one who could actually put the ball in the net in the end. But I've gone for a six. I think he put a good performance in, just maybe not the level Hayden Carter did. So I've gone for a six. Dom Hayden, six. Assist for the goal with a ball across. His stats do actually show he had a good game, but I think on the eye, I just don't rate him as high as Aaron Carter in this game. So I went for a six, perhaps highest. I think he could be up with a seven as well, but six would have gone for. And Harry Pickering, six as well. I think he gets forward well down the line, works really well with Diaz. Be interesting to see how he works with other wingers who maybe won't come back as much because Diaz is quite defensive as well. But I think it was a decent performance and Pickering continues to impress for me as well at fullback. John Buckley, six, good passing. Sometimes lacks a bit of awareness on the ball. Uh, but otherwise, a decent showing from Buckley. I think six is fair as well. Lewis Travis went for a seven, back at his best, I think, recently. And I don't think he's best. He's doing the technical side of the game with all respect to him. I think he's doing that tough tackling, the shit house kind of stuff, the doing the stuff that maybe other players want. And I think that's why his game works best. And that's when he's putting the best performances in. So I think that's a fair rate for him, seven. They were up there for man of the match for me. Uh, I think he really impressed. Gallagher, five. Now, Gallagher's a frustrating one. You know, sometimes he was lazy on the ball. He didn't drop back at times when the ball was right next to him. He shows these glimpses during the game, you know, with his dribbling, but then ultimately, you know, he misses the easiest stuff. And it's that's why he's a frustrating player to watch. And he will be through his time at Rovers because he shows he's got the talent and just doesn't always show it. Maybe the position doesn't suit him and he should be through the middle, but... I don't think that can be an excuse every time. Burton Diaz, six. I don't think he got too involved, but he did help Rovers get forward, especially in the second half. I think as the team grew into it, Diaz grew into it, come close with a chance that he actually got injured off when he hit his foot. I think, you know, it was a decent showing from Diaz, but maybe it just wasn't one that was going to get a goal. And ultimately, I think six is fair. Uh, Terry Stoll is six. I kind of feel harsh rating him six because he works his ass off, keeps going for the team, constant pressure. I just don't think maybe a seven would deserve, but six is still a decent performance. He's not going to score your goals through the middle. He's going to give you that work rate. He's going to spread the defence by making the runs and dragging defenders away. So ultimately, I think six is fair. But the dark, no score, I don't think it's fair, given they were only on the pitch for 10 minutes or so after coming on and then getting injured. Fingers crossed the injury isn't bad. Ren Hedge is six. Did what he can in his time on the pitch. Good with the ball at his feet. Made the cross for Hyam to knock on to Ayala. And ultimately, a decent showing off the bench. Samaric's no rating, weren't on the pitch long enough. 
so that's my ratings. Remember, take like, hit subscribe, do all that stuff. Leave a comment below on what you'd give your ratings for the players. And just thank you very much for watching. Like I say in all the videos, your support's really appreciated and it's been increasing. It's been getting better every video and please keep it up. It gives us a motivation to carry on and it's really appreciated by all here. I know it is. I speak on behalf of everyone in the team, you know, that we're grateful for the support. Please keep it coming. Plenty of content to come. Blackpool content already filmed and it'll be out uh, tomorrow. Loads of content ready. QPR stuff's already in planning. We'll have everything covered on this channel, so please stay tuned and we'll see you soon for a new video. Thanks for watching.